For years, we always ate regular mashed potatoes, just salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of milk or cream, and that was it. But when I discovered the how much of a difference a little sour cream makes in the recipe, everything went to a new level and we've never gone back. Let me show you my recipe for the best sour cream mashed potatoes. I'm Rachel Ballard, this is Feast and Farm Cooks. Let's get started. To start our sour cream mashed potatoes, um, I've got about two pounds of russet potatoes that we're gonna start in cold water. Now you want, two pounds is about six to eight medium potatoes, but these guys are monsters. So I'm gonna just show you how, this is about, I've got about four of them here. I'm gonna show you just how I cut them. I actually just cut mine into slices because you can cube them if you want to, but they just all need to be the same size. So I'm going with quarter of an inch maybe, something like that. So just in slices, I find that they cook faster works for me. I mean, whatever system you like, just go for it. So we've got those cut up. Those will go into this pot of cold water. And then we're going to add some salt because here's the trick, guys. I have a lot of people who talk to me on the blog over on Feast and Farm about they can't get the seasoning right or they feel like things are too salty. You need to start, if you put your salt in now when the food is cooking, it enhances the flavor of whatever you're cooking. If you add salt at the end, it's just going to taste salty. Okay, so that's why we teach you to season everything as you go along and adjust as you need to, but always start at the beginning. So I've got some kosher salt back here and I'm going to put, I don't know, a teaspoon, something like that. I'm just going to rinse my fingers off, get it in there. About a teaspoon or so in there and we're going to bring this to a boil, okay? And it's going to cook until the potatoes are soft all the way through, which is going to take maybe... 20, 25 minutes, I want them to be completely soft. And then I'm going to drain them and I'm gonna put them back in this pot and I'll be back to show you how to mash them up and season them. So be back in just a little bit. All right, y'all, let's do this. Now I've turned off the heat and just with the residual heat of the potatoes in here, I drained them and I put them back in the same pot. We're gonna add all of our ingredients and we're gonna get this mixed up. Now, one note on your pot. If you notice, this is all stainless steel, I think, but it's not, um, hard anodized. It's not one of my ceramics. This is just an old pot that I can run my mixer in because if you will beat your potatoes over heat, it helps to reduce the starchiness or that pasty gummy texture. So you don't want to beat, use your mixer beaters in a nice pot. You're going to destroy it. So I have one pot that's just for potatoes. Now here's what we're going to add to this. I've got three fourths of a cup of sour cream because I am not messing around. So we're going to put that in. Then we are gonna add a half a stick of butter, chunked up, and you can get the full written recipe over on Feast and Farm, so make sure you do that. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt to start. I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon, maybe not quite that much. Salt needs time to dissolve in food, so you have to give it time to do that. We're gonna put a little in, we're gonna mix it up, we're gonna give it a minute, and then we're gonna taste it and decide if we need more. So let me get this in my left hand, and I'm gonna mix this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can hand mash yours if you'd prefer. You can do it with a stand mixer or you can do it in, in this version. Um, I just mix mine until they're to the smoothness that I like. So if you want yours super smooth, just mix them a little, little longer. If you want some lumps, stop a little sooner. Now I'm gonna taste this for seasoning. Mine don't need any more because I put salt in the water when I cook the potatoes. You're gonna wanna check to make sure you don't need to put too much in them when, you, when you're mixing them. So. Mine tastes good, so they're not going to need anything else. And I am going to get these out for you so you can see how beautiful they are. Let's move things so you can. And we have a steaming bowl of the most beautiful mashed potatoes. They will go perfectly with every one of your holiday side dishes. Let's see if we can get them all out. Top them with a little bit of butter, a little bit of cracked pepper, and they are going to be such a feature on your holiday table. So there they are looking great, tasting even better. Thank you so much for being here with me on Feast and Farm Cooks. If you haven't already done it, don't forget to subscribe right here and you can watch another video right over here in the corner. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.